Ahoy, young combo hunter, also known as just Hunter. Hello there, I'm History of the Flash, but you can call me JD. I'm, I'm tired of comic boy. Hopper. And this is the Hero Story, episode 270, I think. Welcome. <laughs> On this week's podcast, we are returning. We weren't here last week because I got COVID, and then Tyler got COVID for some reason. So Because he gave I'll me COVID. That. I gave Tyler COVID being in different Yeah, it's because we were the only ones that recorded last time. So. He is correct. It is episode number 270. Good job. There you go. There. You, well, I remember 269 because that's a really funny number. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, wow. Yeah. This week, we're catching up on I comics, talking things like Wonder Woman, Thor, Superman's current event, Absolute Power is coming soon. We're talking about Deadpool and Wolverine, Popcorn Bucket News. We're talking about Cap 4 reshoots, a bunch of MCU <laughs> that's news. Yeah, that is that is where we're at. Batman Long Halloween's this. getting a sequel. We got Writers for Lanterns and a lot more on a hero story. So this, this feels Remember like... when this podcast was super duper serious when it was the two of them? And then now Hunter's like, we got new. It's the Deadpool and Wolverine popcorn bucket where you can stick your dick yeah. in Wolverine's mouth. Like that's what, that's what like, the news is. <laughs> this is the episode that all four of us miraculously make it for. And that's the news. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's been awesome. a while. <clears throat> like Harper and JD, this is their first time on the show in ever. Welcome. I, 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 I feel, I yeah. dude, I genuinely feel like Tony Stark at the end of Civil War, but with, but instead of Cap's shield, it's that fucking hat. I'm like, take that hat off. You don't deserve it. My father made that hat. <laughs> Australia, <laughs> this <is> Australian <laughs> zoo. Um. Harper, how how bad did you feel missing the reveal of of Tyler? It know? genuinely oh, okay. like it, yeah yeah yeah. It, it made me that was a month ago not now. want to come on the show again. Like, I, would be, I would hope you I wouldn't would, want to do that. I spent yeah. the rest of I spent the rest of the day just like like actually so, sad. Like, yeah, for the sad. for the for the context of what of, as well, uh, Harper knew. Like I told Harper mm. after I had finished The Walking Dead, like a month I, and a I, half ago. <laughs> yeah so i had finished the walking dead and then maybe like a couple hours later i was i think i was i don't know where i was but i was thinking about it i was somewhere where i was should have been thinking about something else and i was thinking like i have to tell harper so mm. i sent it to him and then you sent me back like the whoa i was uh, i was yeah because oh, i just you you went from not knowing if i was going to continue it to oh i finished it yeah i just finished it. i no, sent you the no, last I, page no more than that, I went from not knowing if you were going to finish it to you going, dude, that might be the best comic book ever written. And I was like, yeah. thank you. But can you tell you. me how it felt out of nowhere on a random day, which I had to assume would be morning for you to just get me sending you the final page of The Walking Dead? It felt like the single most validating experience of my life. <laughs> like, like <laughs> I've been preaching from the holy mountains for so long. JD listened to me. He saw the light. Yeah. But like, I knew like Tyler, if you stick with it, you'll love it. And you did. Mm-hmm. And it's better well, yeah. than Invincible. And it is better than Invincible. I mean, I'll, I'll, better. I mean and I, you haven't read Invincible, but it is better. No, but it Invincible. is better. And I can say <laughs> that. It is completely. better than Invincible. Yeah. Harper gets to like, experience it through our eyes, too. Like, I was sending him videos, like, every yeah. fucking issue. I being, have, like, I mean, I have every I issue. Of videos and pictures and I mean, basically, like, not every issue, but like, I mean, at least every five issues, I was sending Harper something, like, bro. Yeah. I do have, I have send a me, like, backlog videos, stuff, of videos and, Har- and stuff. Harper that I did was like, take. I agree with what Otis said. And I was like, Whoa. Whoa! No, I do, don't. No, no, no I do not. No, 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 no. That's a reference Hunter won't get. <laughs> no, I don't. Harper, did you hear me? Did well, you we hear all know say Hunter was... actually agrees with him. He well, probably yeah, actually true. would. Yeah. yeah. Well, he'd read it and he wouldn't even see anything wrong with it. Yeah, he's, but... he's like, "What was the controversy?" I don't have the context yeah. here, so <laughs> um, I'm not going to say. You, no. Did you hear that I said it was better than Ultimate Spider-Man? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I said I don't have the context though. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I haven't read. You got it. Otis, Otis is Jamie, a very, Jamie very white Southern man who says some words that is he, he like Merle saying. in the show? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, yes. except except like there's no redemption arc. There's no like interesting character. He's just like the worst. Oh, he's just Merle in like season two. I he's guess? season one Merle. Oh, season <laughs> one. Oh, T Dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. bad. Um, what did I think about you saying it might be better than Ultimate Spider Man? That it is better than Ultimate Spider-Man. That was that was I love that that he just corrected you. Oh, that was great. That was the that was the thing. I think that was the thing for me. That was what I like. That was the thing. I listened to the podcast. I went out. I told Vicky. I went, dude. She he said it's better than Ultimate Spider-Man. Dude, and I was I had just Just tell everyone Ultimate Spider-Man. 
I was just talking about like like Miles Morales <laughs> and Peter Parker and the ultimate. I was explaining yeah, the yeah. ultimate universe and like, okay, so 616 is the main one. Then 1610 <laughs> is, but like I had explained that like maybe an hour before. And then I listened to that and was like, you're not going to believe this. And then like, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, like, sir, this is a win. But that that was the big deal for me as well. I mean, I don't know if I've ever said anything is better than Ultimate Spider-Man. I love yeah. Ultimate Spider-Man. I have Ultimate Spider-Man stuff, just that you can't see it, but that's a panel of Ultimate <laughs> Spider-Man I just have, like you know, above my above my desk. So yeah, like you don't have any Walking Dead panels or any Walking Dead. No, like... I'll do that soon. I was gonna get there's a Rick figure that comes out in like November. I did see mm. that I'm like, "Oh, I got my I got to keep my finger on the pulse, you know, I got to get that." But I don't have anything else. But I I have said to Hunter, I think like I I genuinely might get a Walking Dead tattoo. I, I might get yeah, a comic book walking. I might get a Rick Grimes tattoo. Just get like the the, the, the the musical notes, the whole, yeah. Um, <laughs> like the, a the, link the to the like show, the Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> The, the, to the Walking Dead show that I still have not. I seen. know you'll get, exactly. You'll like, get if you're gonna get a tattoo, you're gonna I, Hunter take your headphones off. Spoilers he for the final issue of Why the Walking did he, Dead. He muted himself instead of. Spo- <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I don't fucking understand. What a fucking dickhead this guy is. Now we can just oh, make he fun left of him. Too. What a fucking what- yeah. Um, spoilers for skip forward just fifteen seconds. Uh, starting now, you should get um Carl holding Sophia, his daughter, in the in the. Oh, room. I was see- final- Okay, so I was thinking about that. The final oh, panel, the one I sent you. Yeah, final. I was pack, thinking about perfect. that, but then I was wa- I was thinking like I'm not I'm, I'm walking around with a spoiler, and it's not like it matters. You know oh, I mean? true. It's not like it matters, but to, but Hunter would ask what it is. But you would so you want more? You want a Rick, more Rick based thing? I'm thinking like a Rick in a panel where he's saying something hopeful. I kind of maybe I want a dialogue box. Yes, the governor. Yes, that full page of Governor <laughs> cutting off his hands. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I love. Oh, it. so good. It's the best comic so ever. Good. Yes, it is. I'll read it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll agree. Yeah, no, I mean, I was, I was, of course you agree. We miserable. said it. I said it. So that means that I mean, Hunter. If, I mean, right if, now, Invincible is still my number one. So what if Hunter reads it and he's just like, it was all right. And we're just like, I don't. Well, he's like I, me when I read Invincible. I don't yeah. think Invincible's in my top 10. Whoa. Really? I, I, I mean, that's <laughs> believable. <laughs> Why is that? Why is yeah, that, that surprising? That was, that was, like, that was much... like that one dude in the theater when Matt Murdock showed up. Like the oh. one guy, <laughs> that, one dude was Harper. that one dude was, How was Harper. That? It was Harper. Yeah. You were on dude. that podcast, man. Tyler went, Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Like, well, I mean, it's pretty it's good. Doesn't so... come see each other, man. Top 10 of all time. <laughs> there was yeah. there was a period when the first season of the show started and everybody felt like they're reading it. Like, I was yeah. reading it, JD was reading it, and like, I knew like five other guys that were reading it. And at the end, they were all saying, like, This is the best thing I've ever read. So, Tyler's the only one that I really know that hasn't. Agree. Yeah, he's not a sheep. He doesn't follow the the sheeple <laughs> like sorry liberals. Say, but I've read more <laughs> comic books than you guys, so maybe my top ten is a bit more padded. Whoa! Like, oh, you. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, you say there's that, no, but I'll do my top no, ten right now. There's Armor no Mark Wade flash in, a in mine. <laughs> That's all I've got. Armored Wars too. Armored Wars. Armored Wars. Armored Wars. That's what they would do, though. They would make an Armored Wars yeah, instead well, of like, Armor. You know, secret, secret war, secret what wars. Instead of it? Armor Wars, they called yeah. it Freaky Wars, and they just ooh. And <laughs> it was on episode yeah. two sixty nine. <laughs> That's what the MCU is gonna do. And all of Tony Stark's suits got freaky. Am I right? Yeah. And he uses Mark. He uses Mark sixty nine. Hell that yeah. Is, that is a story. Send that to Marvel. Freaky Stanley Wars, presents. Yeah. That was a Freaky Secret Wars uh, battle world, right? That was one of the worlds on Battle mm. World. Freaky mm-hmm. World. Yeah. Freaky Wars. Freaky world. <laughs> That's a metal tie in. You're getting it mixed up. Oh, my bad. Uh, my bad. That's one of the oh, Dark Knights. God. Freaky freaky Man. I forgot about Metal <laughs> The Batman of Freaks. <laughs> the Batman of Freaks. Freaks. All right. Well. <laughs> Congratulations on finishing walking. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we're we're a month ago. <laughs> yeah, a month ago, ago yeah. and now you might get a tattoo of it. I, yeah. I mean, I'm for it. You should. You have an invincible it. tattoo? No. Yeah, you don't like it that much, huh? I guess Ooh. I hate it. Wait, yeah. when does that you even got a tattoo? I feel like it's been ages. You got a tattoo of an owl, right? Yeah. You I like got... owls more than you like invincible? I got an owl like two months ago, but yeah, I you guess so. A tattoo? I have two. 
Can I ask, is that tattoo cursed? Because when you showed it to the camera, your entire screen turned fucking red. <laughs> yeah, it is. If you look at it for too long, you get like in a trance. Well, it's the um, it's oh. the OVO owl because he, he chose Ra. Drake's side on the Yeah, yeah that, that explains a lot. Yeah. So I usually get one here. Hunter, Hunter is an OVO confirmed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we should talk. Who won? <laughs> Who won what? Well, Kendrick, obviously. But yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's also something we're a month late to. Yeah, we are. I, I, it's been a I, while. I genuinely wanted to talk about it on the podcast, but it was the episode no, that late. I I wasn't on because I went, guys, earlier the better. And then Hunter was like, "All right, bet." And then you recorded the podcast like two hours before I was like ready to be awake. It's like eight a.m. <laughs> yeah, and you were like, yeah. "We're starting." I was like, "That's a good what? point." <laughs> yeah, we were too early on that one. Actually, yeah, yeah, you, you were too early. It. But I, it's my fault. I said be <laughs> early. I should have just said be exactly the same fucking time you usually yeah, are. And yeah, exactly, or fine. you should have said <laughs> when early is. <laughs> yeah, you just, did say like right. I'll be there if it's early. So like okay, so yeah, I was not it's... expecting. He did not expect that early. Yeah. It was like five a.m. for you, but <laughs> you like we even you like started the episode saying like Harper will probably join while we're recording. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you were like join and i just sent you a photo back of my face like <laughs> yeah. while, while sleeping <laughs> Eric is so weak. all right yeah i guess so we'll dumb. get into like news and whatnot it's wolverine popcorn bucket guys hip 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 hip, hip hooray that's i guess i'll nope. fuck it on the podcast okay for money Bitch <laughs> guard. Tyler's Bitch Bitch guard. Guard. <laughs> no dude Bitch i almost want to take over Ultimate Spider Man, dude. That was, you can't make me do that. Sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Now that you said it, you have to do it. I'll do it. Yeah. All right. I've, I've, I, I've, I don't want to see it's that. It's about a month and a half away. That's I don't want. Thing. No, no. We, we talked about like what would we offer as like a pay to hero story subscription. That's what we offer. <laughs> Patreon. Patreon. I'd, I'd, right? I'd do Patreon for my balls. Or his ball. This is only fans, buddy. <laughs> no, we'll be like join our Patreon where you get like D and D episodes and Harper nudity Harper sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you get Harper having sex with the Deadpool and Wolverine popcorn bucket. It'd be like the D and D episodes are like three and a half hours each, but the Harper popcorn bucket's like four hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's like four hours. Like four fucking seconds. <laughs> we took it out to dinner. Nah. No. Yeah, there's okay. a lot of build up towards the climax. Yeah. Yeah, well, you got to age. I hate this. This is this on, is terrible. On Skibbity? Yeah, well, we'll on watch. Skibbity, Ohio Giat Riz, yeah. Baby Gronk? Our you, arm you what the Sigma. Captain America 4 is doing reshoots right now. They're doing 24 days of reshoots, and this is supposedly just for cameos, where we're getting him make the new Avengers team. Uh, uh, Giancarlo Esposito is also in this. Sorry, I uh, Giancarlo. I, was, I, I knew I would do that. Giancarlo Esposito. Yes. Yeah. Wow. How did he he's say it? How did he he's say a, it? He's Italian, so Gian yeah. Giancarlo Esposito. I said Gian. Yeah. yeah, something like that. He yeah. has been hyping up the MCU for like a year now. Because he's saying, been saying like, I'll, I'll join it. I mean, I'll, fuck, I'll play anybody. Yeah, he said yeah. last week that, this would have been on the news if we recorded last week, that he said that Marvel has knocked on his door and he is now officially going to be in a movie coming out soon and have his own Disney Plus series. I don't know why he said that to he everyone. He's going to be Agatha? In, he's yeah. going to be... He is Agatha. He's been Agatha all along. Yeah. But I think he's going to be in a Disney Plus series, I assume. I have theories, and they're not, I don't think, based in any real reality, but I have some theories about who he's going to play. Who? So, first of all, you said that he's going to play, an, he, the rumors are he's going to play an MCU-created character. Yes. Which like is Phil enough Coulson. to drive me to murder. That's stupid. That is the <laughs> like, stupidest thing. I've he's ever an heard. incredible actor, and you're not going to pull from one of the ten thousand characters they have. That's mm. crazy. You're going to play yeah. Carlo Boner. <laughs> that would <laughs> come on. I mean, the, we we see a stunt double in a set picture that looks like, and he's just wearing just regular ass clothes. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's just... Um. So here's what I think is possible. Maybe okay. So it, it, Elaine is in this movie, right? Um. Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, right? Yes. And classically, Valentina Allegra de Fontaine is the wife of Nick Fury, but in in the MCU she's not. But she's a Nick Fury character. Nick, Nick Fury Fury's married brother, a scroll. <laughs> yes, because he did marry a scroll, as we know from oh, he the did famous too. show Secret Invasion. I can't believe I've watched that fucking show. Um, bro. 
Nick Fury's brother is the head of um, a terrorist organization called Scorpio. Mm, and he's Virgo or something like that, right? He's okay. or he's one of them, right? Mm. And I think maybe John Carlos Bezito plays him. I don't think that for any Nick reason Fury's other than brother. maybe Elaine's in this movie and he's an older black man. And yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? There, there's right? another rumor saying that he the Disney Plus show he's talking about being in is gonna be Hawkeye season two. Either way, he's not Norman Osborn, and people need to get over that. It's not happening. No, and and you know he's not going to be Norman Osborn. And Norman Osborn doesn't exist in this fucking universe anyway, as per Willem Dafoe in No Way Home. Yes, that's true. Oscorp doesn't exist. Exist. Or Um, Norman could exist, but not. Yeah, it's a good point. And and also, I just realized that he's the Green Goblin. He could have just been like bullshitting about all of it. Yeah, he could have just forgotten. That's true. (laughs) Yeah, uh, or I mean, just maybe, maybe yeah. it would have been no, it's over there. House Corp's right there. Yeah, <laughs> it's like right there. Maybe and it's then... like a cool. What if Oscorp is like a cool little like tech startup though? It could have been who, like who a... bought have the building. A... Have, Avengers have we Tower. Found out who bought Avengers Tower <laughs> in 2017? No. Yeah. Don't we know? Who cares now? anymore? Oh, who cares? it's it's Mephisto. It's Mephisto in, in Ironheart. In Ironheart. Okay, never mind. Um, is that confirmed? I will find out, won't we? Okay. Tyler, yeah, so am I, am I making this up? How do you do Norman Osborn going forward in the MCU? Because, like, Peter already knows that he's Green Goblin. Well, like, I did hear... He possibly... I heard like, he's going to meet Norman Osborn and be like, wait a minute! Yeah. Well, I, I heard right? there were rumors that he... um That they're going to establish an MCU Norman Osborn and an MCU Otto Octavius as like villains in spider-man movies but, but yeah again it's like peter peter knows their weaknesses he knows how to beat them like he's sure yeah he does that cures the <laughs> goblin disease right yeah and i also think the same thing about right. gwen because like andrew spider-man told him you know i lost gwen right and so if he ever meets a woman named gwen he's probably going to avoid her right and he knows that's about a good them. story and, and, he knows, and he knows about the venom like he knows about the black goo like stay away from the black goo like oh yeah that's true but maybe that's a good story maybe maybe he's like holding them too close because he knows that that's i mean that but then that's just spider verses like, i think you already just... jumped the shark though i think you already you already yeah. revealed, like all the i don't know man all he's I stuck know using villains still, like uh, shocker oh there he is still got <laughs> scorpion man they still got a uh, big wheel or something they got nacho so yeah they still have made. scorpion Harper reference big one. Could have been me. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't, but it could have been me. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm going to explain that really, if that's okay. Have we ever mentioned that on the podcast? I think we've mentioned it, but it's been years. Movie. It's been years about we this. Did. But, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Um, Racist writer and director Gavin. <laughs> or, or Joshua Harper. <laughs> uh, before, before it came out that he was incredibly racist online, uh, Harper was going to play Big Wheel in Spider-Man Lotus. But it was just going to be like his image on like a case file. But it was going to be like Harper's face. On. This, this this was the bullet. And this whoop, just yeah. like that. Just but the drama. You hop, sent a, Did you send the picture in? It. No. Okay. <laughs> no, I didn't right. get that far. But it was like still mad at you guys about that. Like a hundred percent. It's it's wild that they never leaked Harper's text, which were much worse. Yeah. It's true. When he was auditioning for, how do you think I, he got the I role? I do recall his review of Aquaman. It was like a good one. I'll pull up what Hunter said in the chat the other day. I'll do it. What did I say? <laughs> do you remember? Even... <laughs> oh. You made a James Wan com- comment Wait, that was where? that was. Oh yeah, I said that we look alike. boundaries. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can show it. It was it was a, a, in, in reference. It was in reference to to. <laughs> to Gavin to Gavin's that shit. People people don't know what we're talking about. Gavin has a, a famous opinion about the film Aquaman. It, don't look it up, don't look it up. Look it up. It's pretty bad. It's on his it's it, it's real bad. Is this Hunter or is this James Wan? I can't even tell. See, it, it looks, looks like, like me with short hair and glasses. And red, can, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, I that I thought that was Hunter. I could see that. Mm, it's actually yeah. what about that was actually a picture of Hunter, not James Wan. It's actually not me. I would believe it's, you because it because yeah. it's clearly a picture of Hunter. It's like a Clark Kent Superman situation. Like they look alike, but they they're very different personalities and everything. Nah, but I yeah, see, uh, see. you could probably find the Gavin screenshot about Aquaman. Can I, can if you I like show this screenshot? The leaks of of Gavin of of our chat. I just think it's of, so funny. Of yeah, what the the James Wan thing? The he keeps saying the James Wan thing. Uh, <laughs> <Just> the... <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, you said careful. <laughs> <laughs> Harper just went. You know, when you have the three hearts, like that's yeah. you know, it's literally that, that photo of like the, you know, the, you split, the split paths and like the dead trees on one side and the beautiful yeah. utopia on the other side. <laughs> But yeah, Harper was almost in that movie. And I just realized it's been like, what, two years since Lotus? A year and a half? Where's I think it's my been hoodie? A year. I never got my yeah, sweater. Where, yeah, was my hoodie? Was my Blu ray? Yeah, I was supposed to get the Blu ray and my hoodie, but I never I got it. I think they were putting an extra point on the hood, and that's what oh I got. <laughs> yeah, it just wouldn't <laughs> pat down. Yeah, they, yeah. Couldn't, they couldn't figure it out. I don't want the hoodie. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. But you are owed it. You are owed it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I did pay for it. So it is a little. <laughs> You know, I don't know if anyone who paid for that wants it anymore, to be fair. Mm. I'm sure there's someone. Yeah, yeah probably. I'm sure there's someone who's real happy about it. Yeah, that movie got like 2 million views or something like that. Uh, We'll move on. There is Hawkeye Season 2 rumors going on right now. Quite a bit saying that it is going to take place during Christmas. They're currently looking for a writer and someone to play Barney, Clint's brother, to be uh-huh. an antagonist of the show. But it seems to be like in, post, in pre-production, I mean, so... Kind of like how Wonder Man's in like post production at this point, but it hasn't been announced yet. Hawkeye seems to be another one that is going to actually happen, but not announced. Is it? Well, like Jer- yeah. Also, Jeremy Renner is about to star in Knives Out three. So is this the first the season two? No, Loki. Oh right, right, right. And Loki. what if? If that counts. And what if? I guess that counts. And then they're going to make X Men ninety seven uh, yeah. season two. All right. You see, what if announced like uh, an interactive thing that you can do I for VR? Say, oh, it's, it's like a meta only, quest. It's only on Apple Vision. Pro. Uh, oh, it's on the Apple Vision Pro. Only on that. It's exclusive. That's so, so you got to pay like Why? five thousand dollars to do it. Good thing I just bought it. Yeah, that's true. You oh. did just buy it. Can you just look it up on YouTube? Yeah, you can. You yeah. just can't interact <laughs> with the wall. It does take one person to upload. It takes <laughs> one. Yeah. yeah, it's like. <laughs> it is. Uh, there is a few rumors going around that I screenshot the source, but the source sucks. Deadline. 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 It's from the deadline uh, article. A lot of people are talking about these two things right now, but it's the source seems to come from Daniel RPK, so it's just a conversation yeah, topic right. of anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, for Wouldn't it be fun if? Thor 5 is currently slated to begin filming in the fall of 2025. They're actively looking for a writer and director. And it's supposed to be more serious. Um, the things that we've known already, but I think yeah, uh, no. I'm, but isn't that just right into like Chris Hemsworth going, "Oh, we bloody t- we took the fourth one a bit too far, I reckon." You, you, like, if we were gonna do another one, we'd go bloody crazy. We would bloody go. We go back to his roots. <laughs> Sound like a deep voice, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, I like, I just who cares about Thor? I think though, I just saw Furiosa, yeah, buddy. George Miller, he, they're not going to make another Mad Max. He's 79 years old. He's got one movie left in him. Oh, make a Thor. What? No, oh, don't waste it on Thor. No, Dude, give Thor! him something. Give or him five. Five. To people but imagine a Mad like Maxified Aquaman. Thor. What? what? Give him a character people care about like Aquaman. I was just making fun of Hunter's taste in characters because they're all kind of bad. But he looks yeah, Thor I agree. More, right? <laughs> he what? He likes Thor more than Aquaman. I do. Do you? Okay. okay. Good, good, good. I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> but I think get, it's I, good. <laughs> I think it's fine. Okay, I, don't I don't know. At I this say point. get George get George Miller on Thor. Why not? That'd be That'd actually be really sick. Good. Yeah. It would be cool. Is not is Nightwing oh, still in like a top five now, or not? Man. Who? Who? <laughs> <laughs> who are you talking to you tyler you Me? said he has a daughter not now, like... when would i what are you talking about you dressed up as nightwing why would i fucking ask tyler i'm oh. referring to what what's going on <laughs> i said is nightwing still in your top five? Oh no no wow tom taylor ruined it with his uh <laughs> no he did not <laughs> okay. didn't you dress up as iron fist uh yeah i did <laughs> <laughs> why uh, it was for a charity. I event. love that picture, by the it way. Was, That's like one of my for favorite pictures. Charity pictures. event. Yeah, there was, it was like for a this, charity. Uh, no yeah. kid was excited for that. Not a <laughs> single one. We had like a defender's Iron area. Fist? Yeah, so that ain't making like, any oh, more wishes. Did you sure. choose Iron Fist? No, I was just given suit. They gave you a suit, and they were like, "You're gonna be Iron Fist." Yep. And these kids, like, okay. 
these poor kids who want nothing more to, man, than to live. Man, Superman. There was, yeah, yeah no, there was fist. like a really Ooh. good Thor. There was a really good Captain, like a movie accurate Civil War Captain America suit. And they were all being surrounded. And I was like, what the heck? I look like Iron Fist in the 2015 Marvel Now comics. <laughs> it's like all new, all different Iron Fist. Yeah, it was a, it was a, like it was a really dumb Iron Fist. Thanks, man. I like that um, outfit. Is that the one with the stripe? I like. The no, 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 it was a Matt. It was. Does anybody have was, that picture like ready to go? It was, like, I'll, I'll find it. I'll find it. But it was the Matt Fraction Iron Fist. I remember. Yes, yes. It Which was. is a good book, but you is that not on, the one man. where he's just wearing like it's like just like kind of casual with like stripes down the side. Like yellow no, stuff. no, no, no! It's the just the blue like, like long sleeve, or nothing blue, the green long sleeve, and the dragon on the chest and the mask. Well, I used to do like a lot of different like superhero cosplay events. There's this whole community in my city that I was part of that I left because there's a pedophile part of it. But uh, the fairy <laughs> Drake. And when you left, the pedophile left. Weirdly, yeah, no, that's weird. they <laughs> they all kind of scattered because uh, some was this at the embassy? <laughs> what? At the OVO mansion, the OVO mansion, the embassy. No, <laughs> but uh, he's he, like, there's a police report about it, and he still goes to these cons, and everyone just kind of glares at him and avoids him a little bit. Yeah, he dresses That's as Doctor good, Strange yeah. Harper. Okay, what would you, as Doctor Strange like Harper? Think? He's yeah. he's lore accurate Doctor Strange. Oh, I, I think that's. I miss when Hunter used to dress up. Yeah, Green there's Lantern. me and Kevin Conroy. Is I that feel when you like that might the have been the thing that finished Kevin Conroy off. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, man. That, how long ago was that? When was that? That was, uh, I think, 2017. 20, 2018. 2018. 2018? Okay, so may, may, maybe not, unfortunately. Downward spiral. Unfortunately. <laughs> but they, I mean, that started the downward spiral. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I went on to Kevin Conroy's. I'm like, I'm a Green Lantern. He's like, I'm more of a John Stewart fan. I I'm found like, it. not going to do Jim that. Jim Lee is next. Jim Lee is no, next. No, no. Jim Lee you is got a picture with Jim one. Lee. Yeah. I like it's three you know, foot one. <laughs> Jim Lee is three short. foot one. And even told know. me, he's like, you're tall. I'm like, you're short. <laughs> you know, in the Final <laughs> Destination movies where they like go through like photos and they like get clues as to who's going to die next. It's like all of Hunter's cosplay photos with celebrities. <laughs> yeah. I just, uh, I sent Stan, the, I it's sent like the... Stan Lee. It's Kevin Conroy. Yeah. Oh, no, you, know, you know what actually sent the Hunter photo. Kevin Conroy? It wasn't taking a picture with Hunter. It's when Hunter asked him the stupid fucking Batman. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That for jokes. Cool. Yeah, that's. I found the picture. The I sent it in the ones. chat of a of of Iron Iron Harper or Iron Hunter. Iron Hunter. Iron yeah. Hunter. Hey man, that that pick goes hard. I think it's so ridiculously <laughs> serious. Yeah. Who, who did you think you were? Iron you Fist. Imagine being a child in the hospital and you walk out and see this. Yeah, come <laughs> on. I had I had the glow stick that I was squeezing too, so it looked like my fist was gonna was like glowing, and then I just decked a child. Oh, yeah. How old were you ah. at this point? I was, I think, 19. 19. All right. Maybe I'll give you some leeway, but. Thanks. I was either 18 or 19. I'm pretty sure it was 19, though. But yeah, I, I punched many, many people. Ooh. Many people. Many kids. I'm I'm sorry for audio listeners. I, my mic was cursed there. You guys didn't hear that, but my mic just made Wait, a no. really static noise when I said oh. that. And I'm I'm recording off my end, so. I'll, I'll avoid that conversation. Uh, Daniel Arpigay also said during this report that um, there is a synopsis for <laughs> the Thunderbolts that is apparently going to say, Yelena, U.S. agent, ghost, and taskmaster are sent by Val to kill someone in a vault. They realize they've been set up and were meant to die on this mission. So the team up against their boss to take her down. So, so he not says, synopsis, what, uh, yeah, what are we? Some kind of suicide squad. Some kind of taskmaster. <laughs> that's, that's, not, that's also not, that's also of, not yeah, a synopsis. Like, yeah, no, yeah that, is not. A, that is a plot. That is the entire plot. That's a summary of a movie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, that sucks. And, and no, that yeah. should not be the movie. That is just Suicide Squad. <laughs> yeah, that is the first Suicide Squad movie. Do they realize that the Thunderbolts aren't supposed to be like, they're they're not supposed to die. It's not like the Suicide Squad were. Yeah, it's not that. Yeah, yeah. I, ugh, they don't know what the Thunderbolts are, but it doesn't matter, does it? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. You no know, the only cares. the only Marvel movie that matters at this point is Wolverine and Deadpool, and the rest is just gonna be shit. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not. Well, it's just right, like the man. <laughs> like, uh, like, unfortunately, like that movie's gonna make like a billion dollars. Like, in but the I would have Marvel loved. Movie. I would have loved a actual. Uh, would have or would had, I would had loved a mm. Thunderbolts movie 
where it's Zemo and it's a bunch of villains and they're pretending to be the Avengers like that. Best why would I they not? Do, you know, best I can do is Will Smith saying, "What are we, some kind of thunderbolt?" I think the uh, best imagine... they could do is actually like. <laughs> Yelena leading the team, not Will Smith. Yeah, and oh, it's, and Tyler, it's can a, you do the can like you do the mac and cheese accent? Oh no, the fuck I can't. Please, no, I can't. No, I'll I leave. Can't. I'll leave the podcast. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll kill yeah. her. I'll I'll kill kill her. her. BVS reference. BVS reference. Are we the How only one? Ending? How about that ending? <laughs> Are we the only ones this that this like we hear? Cheese. I'll do it. Or we're just like oh. mac and cheese, <laughs> mac and cheese. <laughs> It's the worst show ever, and they're you just said they're gonna make a season two. So, yeah. Well, I don't think Yelena will be involved. I think it's just Kate and Clint. But... Just, I just hate her. I just hate her. Why? <laughs> She's just annoying. She just not my favorite Marvel character. Get into the hate. She's not my favorite Marvel character. No. You just hate woman. What's it? What's her name again? Uh, Florence Pugh. No, the character Yelena. <laughs> Yelena. Yelena. Me. Yeah. Me. When I'm calling out to my friend named Ina. Yeah, it doesn't even make any sense. Uh, yell, like Yelena. yell, like yell. Oh, consider the following. <laughs> that was that was really funny, like Harper. Oh. Thank you. Batman: The Last Halloween is a sequel to Batman: The Long Halloween. Boo. Uh, why? Boo. Yeah. Boo. Wait. The Long so Halloween it's a... and Dark Victory are two of my favorite Batman comics of all time. Like Better Tyler, knows, Tyler yeah. knows my ideal Batman trilogy is Year One, Long Halloween, Dark Victory. Like, yeah, each of three, them is better than Invincible. Yeah, you could read, <laughs> you could read those three and be very satisfied with Batman comics. Like that is a great yeah. introduction. To Batman. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, there's so and yeah, and then that yes, so why, I'm just gonna say yes. Reading, like, why are you reading? Uh, why are we reading? Why are we making a third one? Without yeah. Tim Sale, he's dead. He's Without not. Tim Sale is the really kind of is the kicker, right? Like, okay, so I there's a rotating cast of artists on this, right? Like, that's the deal. Is it's ten ten issues a rotating cast? And I understand if you're not gonna emulate Tim Sale, then then we're gonna give it to a bunch of different people, right? But what is even left to say? That's what I'm saying. Like, the, it's such a complete story. The first two, like, it, it's, yeah, it's and he, like the first one on its own is a complete story, and then the second one finishes a story that you didn't know wasn't completed and i just don't think like we know what batman does after yeah. after the dark victory you know from the rest of the batman lore yeah, like it's ego i think is literally like the next step yeah, so it it's is. like yeah so what do you know i i don't care you know what i mean i, I just don't i don't care about a wise it. man what are we doing here if, like, it, I guess if it, it would have been Tim Sale, if it was, you know, a Long Halloween 3 and it's Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale, it's different. I would absolutely read that, you know, and they did an Agreed. issue. Mm-hmm. But right, that, or if they yeah. did, like, you know, Tim Sale was doing art before he died and, like, you know, he and had like, finishing it, sure. I could appreciate that, but, like, this is just, like, random, like, <laughs> yeah, just feels... plaster his name all over the cover, like, in loving memory of Tim Sale, and it's a yeah. cash grab. It's dumb. And mm-hmm. also, it's got a terrible name. It's called Batman the Long Halloween, the last Halloween. Yeah, that's <laughs> like what is that? Story level of that. Dark Knights, Death <laughs> yeah, Metal, Legends of the Dark Knights. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's probably the worst one. Oh, God. I don't think you get worse than that. <laughs> uh, move on to other news. Uh, James Gunn has confirmed the team leading the Lanterns writing room. Uh, he said he put on threads. Yes, it's true. The Lantern DCU series I'm putting together. It now has a crack team of writers based on a wonderful pilot script and Bible by Chris Mundy, Tom King, and David Lin- Lindelof. A hearty welcome to Chris and and David as they join DC Studios family. No welcome necessary for old Tom King, who's been here since the start. So, so Tom King's writing the... lanterns. Nah, man, you remember that issue on uh, on in, in Dark Side War? Oh yeah, never mind. No, we're good. we're good. We're good. I'm thinking yeah, literally in crisis for some reason. That's my where, first thought. What is it's just, yeah. I think I think he just shit all over that on purpose. I honestly, I'm like, how did on you purpose. write this incredible issue of Hal Jordan, the best yeah. single issue in Hal Jordan's history, and then this is, you know what I mean? It, it, I don't think that. I feel like that's not. I feel like it's not on him because I think Omega Man, which is like a good Kyle Rayner story. Kyle so. Rayner story, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So I think what is this? This is uh, Hal and John. Yeah. He was he was a soldier. He was in war. He was a CIA uh, agent, right? And these are two cops, right? Let's say it's it deals with kind of stuff like that. I feel like sure. Oh yeah, I guess that's a good point. He has the you history know? for it. 
I, James Gunn also uh, to, or is it called Threaded? <laughs> he posted this with the another look at uh, Earth One Green Lantern Volume One and Two. Yeah. He only posts that image, like those two covers. So are we doing Earth One inspired, where he's an astronaut instead of a pilot? I kind of hope not. But Earth I One is like also weird. It's what really good. Oh, you like, got to read it. Yeah, I like Earth One Green Lantern. I mean, there's two volumes. I haven't read the second one, but uh, it's also um, what's it called? Oa is like <sighs> Oa is like a planet where what the man hunters rule, and mm-hmm. all the Green Lanterns are slaves. Yeah. So I I don't think that's what it's gonna be. No. Uh, yeah, you get a ring. It's like inviting you to be to yeah, slavery. and you're not supposed to find one. Like he finds it on on like the dead Avon Sir, but it's like thousands of years old or something. Yeah, and it was on the moon too. Yeah, it was, like, on, Ab- the moon. Abin it was did, on the moon. Abin didn't yeah. make it to Earth. Like he was retreating yeah. there, but he crash landed on the moon. And that's it's good. I'll it's a good book. It. I I, I actually really good. like um, Earth One Green Lantern. And and sure, do a a show about that, I guess. But I I wonder what this is going to be like, like Earthbound or space or both. You know, I don't know. I like both. I mean, I just kind of want them to be very traditional in the sense of Jeff John's run. Like, talk <laughs> about the emotional spectrum. Talk about the Green Lantern Corps. Have Owa involved. Have, well, have you, did you just say traditional like the Jeff John's run? I mean, traditional as in, like, <laughs> Com- since, since traditional is in the one that like literally made like entire new lore. Yeah, traditional is in the one that turned Earth everything Earth. upside down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, but that's I, good. Like I, I like. I think you start can not do that started. stuff yet. I don't yeah. know if you have to do that stuff yet. I think I that maybe they yeah. could unravel all that stuff. I feel like that's a lot to unload. Really, the like spectrum. all of the color spectrum stuff and. And and whatnot and like do you build to the color wars then and stuff I don't know, do you do the Sinestro war like what is this I don't even I'm it's just called lanterns <laughs> you yeah. know what's the villain gonna be because if it's not yeah. Sinestro are they gonna do we're doing Hector lantern? Hammond again yeah, no <laughs> Cloud Galactus yeah oh, and yeah Cloud um not Galactus it was Galactus pretty much it was Parallax Parallax yeah, yeah I mean it but was. it was like a cloud like the movie that, Galactus. all right. That, the Parallax Cloud versus the Galactus Cloud. <laughs> At least Galactus um, Cloud was Baker, right? <laughs> yeah, but and Parallax had a big face on him. <laughs> yeah, like I, I want Sinestro to be heavily involved in this series it, so Sinestro, you can build that relationship up with Hal. Yeah, I was gonna say Sinestro should maybe just be a Green Lantern, right? Yeah, but then we're doing what the movie did, where he's a Green Lantern, and then but like uh, in in Green Lantern the animated series, like the the one from like twenty ten or whenever, it was like mm-hmm. you know, like he was like. A Green Lantern, but you could see he was already turning. Like you could already see, yeah. Face. Like you could do something mm-hmm. like that. Like yeah. get to the point quicker. It doesn't have to be the end of the movie where it's the best scene of you know. Yeah, yeah, or, or the end of the show, or any. Yeah, maybe, or maybe the show starts and that's like the first episode. Or it's something. him like leaving know. the Green Lantern Corps. Like yeah, like, he's finished. frustrated. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, I just I kind of want them to really focus on just what the Lantern lore. You don't have to do the other colors, but it's you know. I just want them to focus on Green Lanterns, but be different from the movie, but still be very comic booky. Don't make yellow their weakness. Like we don't need that. Or wood. You don't or want a wood, wood splint yeah, to be no. their weakness. But I, I like the idea where it's like lanterns don't kill, and then maybe later on in the DCU where there comes a situation like the Sinestro Corp War where they, yeah, they all of a sudden activate. Like okay, we and can it, no kill. Yeah, I, I'm excited. I guess in a in a like a grander sense to see how the Green Lanterns tie in into the bigger universe because every justice league story in the comics has a moment where they turn around the bad guy turns around all the green lanterns are in front of him like every single one and they're <laughs> gonna do that in a movie yeah and i want i hope that i hope it's awesome i hope it's not just like oh okay i hope it looks sick <laughs> you know what i mean yeah no i agree I, I, yeah because they're gonna because have... that's yeah they do that all the time we have a guy already going to be established in superman legacy which seems to have a bigger role than we thought boy well, because like, uh, what's his name? Nathan Fillion was there day one, and then he was back home recently in Edmonton, and then he left again to go film more Superman stuff. So he was there but day he's one. He's roommate, right? And yeah, did you talk to him while in Edmonton? Yeah, he's... do you want to come on? Nah, he doesn't want to come on because he's he's not wearing any clothes at the moment. You got the ginger bowl cut right now. He's he's shy. <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't want to reveal that too. Yeah, he keeps going back and forth between the ginger one and like the current one, where it's just like 
you know, it's we have a pre match match here. Do you see what he <laughs> looks like? I have no idea what guy looks like now. He looks yeah, like a little fade guy. Maybe it's looks, just yeah. it's a fade. I like how Hunter's gonna talk about someone's hair looking awful when he's looked like a dirty hippie. <laughs> for the last, like that's true forever. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> a little flat top. Yeah, yeah. It's bad. <laughs> it's okay. Bad. <laughs> Imagine Nathan Fillion in that. That yeah. would be so funny. <laughs> that's the funniest <laughs> visual. That just looks like excessive force right there. Like he is just like yeah. Yeah, on. exactly. That is that is a police brutality right there. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I pulled out my camera just seeing it. Like I'm recording. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it, it looks terrible. So and it's weird how James Gunn always is like, don't worry, he's gonna have the bull cut. He's gonna have the iconic bull cut. It's like just give him this normal hair that he's had. Yeah, you give him a normal haircut. Years. We don't actually care about the bull cut. Yeah, he's had different hair for twenty plus years, where it's just like regular short. That's hair. iconic, though. It is, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's iconic. Okay. It, you know, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a good look, but it is iconic. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, yeah. But yeah, he was back in Amazon, but then he's filming again. So Superman Legacy started filming in like what January? So he started March. March, maybe. He started at the beginning and then he took a break, but now he's back and then we're coming up in June here, so. Damn. It feels like he has like a bigger role than just like I'm Green Lantern, and then that's it kind of thing. So, <laughs> do you imagine that's his only line? I'm Green Lantern. I'm Green Lantern. I I would cheer. <laughs> I had the blueprint when that one Green Lantern flew by. <laughs> Yalen Gur, speak his name, man. Remember him. God, that <laughs> that clip you sent Tyler for Zach on a podcast was that recent? That was the Joe Rogan podcast. Was that recent? No, he was on I Joe Rogan. Know. He was on Joe Rogan like two months ago and he said he said that Batman is I hate Batman and, and I don't understand Batman at all. And I just I shouldn't have made the movie, oh. which isn't what he said, but is what he should have said. It is oh, basically okay. what he said. He he explained that he wants his Batman to be an alcohol. Basically. He has the weirdest takes on Batman because remember before he made Batman vs Superman, he had like a thing where he said he wanted Batman raped in a prison. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He said that. Yeah, that's dark. You say yeah. the Dark Knight's not dark enough. It's like Zach, <laughs> stay away from me. Like go away. You know, what I mean? like just. I want you know, me and you to be pretty dark, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Hey. Zach, stay back. <laughs> but yeah, he said the the scene in BVS when Bruce wakes up. I think this is only in the Ultimate Cut where Bruce wakes up and he's in like his little cottage house and there's like a girl in his bed and he like yeah. takes pain meds with like a bottle of alcohol. He says it because Bruce spent the night drinking. Because he has trauma and therefore he can't stop drinking alcohol. But he says, here's the thing is like, if it's a broken Batman, all right. But then Zack Snyder goes, well, this is just what I think this is just what Batman is. Like, I think Batman is just a guy that has random sex with a woman and then wakes up and washes his, his, his pill pains down with alcohol. I don't, I just think that categorically that is not what Batman is. Yeah. It's just like, oh, because he lost his parents at a young age. It's like, he's still a superhero. <laughs> He's got discipline, man. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, he's angry, of course. Like he's got he's got the brooding, but he's not an alcoholic. He couldn't be. Like he just he couldn't. Yeah, he literally couldn't. Is that why there's the line about like the wine cellar being empty? Like there there won't be any for the next generation of Wayne. Yeah, that's Probably, actually the, yeah. that lines from, uh, the next lines from yeah, that lines from the Dark Knight Returns. So he did. Yeah, but like that. you think you think Zach fucking Snyder has ever read the Dark Knight Returns? Whoever think, wrote, whoever read it, it might be the he only. Probably read like a it. like a Wicked a Reddit like TLDR of the Dark Knight Returns. No, the, well, no, somebody went up to him. Why would he like, break you know, the gun? Went, That's dumb. Right, so look at how cool this is, and fucking look at how Lightning. sick this is. The light yeah. Ad. yeah. <laughs> look at this. Yeah. So we check out this ad. Yeah, he, he probably he was on the weeks. wiki. He's just like Joker killed Robin. <laughs> Just yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Joker killed Robin. Dick. Which Robin is it? Richard. Richard. Yeah, it's Richard. God. Horrible. Yeah, that's that's my news of the week though. So, um, um Harper, can you fucking week. Harper, can you fucking pay attention? You've been looking up at your fucking toys for the last twenty minutes, and it's pissing me uh, off. I've been listening to the conversation. I just yeah, I, you... it's green Latin. What do you want me to add? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's your What's your favorite color? Um. Boy, there's a lot of jokes you can make there. Um, I'm gonna say blue. I'm gonna say blue. Hope blue. Yeah. yeah. All right. You look, look at you, Saint Walker. Josh. Josh Saint Walker. You do, yeah. do like you do kind of look like him. Yeah. Uh, you're Barry Allen. 
Actually, do you know who Saint weird. Walker is Harper? Yeah, yes, he's in those Barry Allen issues. <laughs> okay, yeah, because he do look a lot. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Stop it. No, you look like a you look like I've a lark. Lar freaking fleet. Is that our thumbnail like or is it fleas, like, like the blue lantern? But, it's <laughs> but he's like all because Larf or Lar Lar Fleece, uh, Saint Walker is like a very like stick figure like body. Yeah, yeah. Really he looks like an axolotl. One... <sighs> What's that one Jedi with the long neck and the, and the oh, head? Colin Trebor? That one? Is no, that no, 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 no. That's the, the that's dinosaur, the dinosaur one. No, it's the oh, one in the council in the first Nardu? movie. The one, yeah, 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 no idea. It's the one on the yes. council in the first movie. He's got a really long neck and a, and yeah. a head at the at the top, and he's that's he, what Saint Walker looks like. In he's one. Movie. He's one of the uh, the what you call the the Camino in Camino. Yeah, yeah, he, he like yeah. grows the clones. One yeah. of the one of the clones. Oh yes, people. yes, yes, he is. Yeah, Saint that Walker guy. is from that's what there. You look like. <laughs> yes, Saint Walker is from. That Camino. what Harper looks like from behind. Yes, that yeah. guy. That guy. We've, <laughs> We've never, never seen Harper from behind. So. <laughs> Whatever that's true. I forget his name. <laughs> he just like animorphs. Um, but yeah, that's that's that that's is what you look now like. Now I know what one fourth of the thumbnail is gonna be. It's me gonna be photoshopped <laughs> as Saint Walker. So Saint that's good. Walker. You gotta get the eyes right. His name is uh Yarsal Poof. Oh. Would you just call me? <laughs> By your legal name. Hades too early access. <laughs> oh god. That's I love that guy. <laughs> Oh, Yarl Poof! Yarl Poof! Of course, little, 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 of course. It's, me? it's it's Yarl Poof. Um, he has pronouns. They're he him. Who would have thought? <laughs> Yarl Poof. I love Yarl Poof. Actually, now that we talk about it, it's my favorite Green Lantern. Dude, you should look into the Wikipedia. Who would have thought? It's so funny. Who would have thought? <laughs> I wasn't good, expecting to see that on fucking. Good for he and him. Videos. Yeah, that good was for the so both of them. Funny. That was that felt like JD's dad coming through a little bit. Like, huh? Who would have thought? <laughs> what about that one uh, Jedi guy that's a bunch of hair and like like long nails, Master Oshishish or something oh, like that? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Rancis, <laughs> Ra- Ra- Rancisis, Master Rancisis. Yeah. Wow, that's well done. Are you guys yeah. gonna watch the new Star Wars series this week? The acolytes. Yeah, just fuck. Not? It's too There's woke for me, man. There's too many, too many article, women, and none of them are Star Wars fans. Shut the fuck up, Tyler. This article oh, literally quote. This article is about the canon Jedi Master. You may be looking for the non-canon impersonator with the alias Yodel Proof. He has a non-impersonator wow. who only has one letter of his last name. That's why it's good when Disney rebooted, because who needed that? <laughs> who needed that? You say that. You say that. But it, that's your so picture of a Lego. <laughs> Lego Harper. That's, that's Harper and Lego for. Oh, <laughs> He's <laughs> also a he him. Oh my <laughs> god. Hey Harper, you should get that Lego figure just to like have on your desk. Oh. Well they'd probably make a hot oh, toy eventually, right? <laughs> oh yeah. If they make a hot toy of Saint Walker in Star Wars, would you buy it? No, Saint although Walker I did I did have a friend message me. They they like announced the Kit Fisto one and he just oh, sent me the link and he went, When are you getting the Fisto? And I just sent back like a photo <laughs> of my face like <laughs> are you gonna get it though no fuck no what's no. oh all right never mind but what's what one you, you would get you get plo Koon. no i wouldn't would you get uh master rancisus no <laughs> uh-huh. you get you get saint walker for sure right yeah you would get saint walker he's got that famous <laughs> lightsaber you, you, get guys, you guys Mundi, have forgotten that you, for, you guys have forgotten what happened record. with my like remember my my entire collecting thing has changed remember now i'm literally just collecting people that are on the fucking list that's it what, you wait, 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 like like a hit list are we on the list yeah yeah uh, are we on the list <laughs> <laughs> no just on like i'm only collecting like either my favorite characters or characters from like shit that is like my favorite thing like uh, grimes 2000 yeah like Rick Grimes, two thousand, yeah. Oh, he's got it. Well, there it <laughs> is. Saint Walker. Did you guys know? It's not a very good book. Real quick, I went to Saint Walker to see if he had pronouns, which he doesn't. So where'd it go? But his alter oh. ego is or his alter ego. Alter is ego. <laughs> <laughs> his alter it's, ego. His alter ego <laughs> is Brody. 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 Cool. Brody <laughs> Walker. Brody, Brody Walker, bro, Brody. yo, it's me, Saint Walker. Yeah. Man. But it's B R guys. It's Brody Walker here. E E. <laughs> oh, bro, D. Yeah. Come Brody on, Walker. Harper, can you say all will be well? 
all will be well, dude. Is uh, <laughs> that your Walker? Caleb voice? Literally him. All, all will be, be well. well. Look it's at me. Him. It's me, St. Walker. Everything's going to be good. Hey. <laughs> Thumbs up, bro. No, don't go. I'm so full of hope or whatever. <laughs> he looks like <laughs> Gore the God Butcher. It does look like Gore the God Butcher. Yeah, well, I made a post on that like two years ago. No one cares. <laughs> and you said he looks <laughs> just like no Gore the God Butcher. No one cares. Hey, I quit for Everyone you. Everyone comfortable continues the post. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. I'm Remember enough. when there was a comic community and people gave a shit? Like, yeah. I like read you? comics this like week. you, like, like you, you yeah, <laughs> yeah. I left exactly. When you were a big fan of the Flash. When you I were got right out of the game, you were right me like Stan. You want to talk about that? I don't even, I don't even my follow DMs. Tyler. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's actually, that's true. It's true. Why, so. Harper? What happened? What happened with what? Why yeah, did the... you destroy the combo community? And why did you make sure Furiosa made no money? And um. You, you know, I went to I went to Southern Cross Station in Melbourne the other day, and there was Furiosa like banners plastered over the entire train station. It you are the it audience now. Every yeah, it was everywhere. It um, takes place in Australia. Oh, yeah, yeah, just it. don't you fucking care. Down, like, no, just don't fucking care. The movie starts with like it shows Earth, and then it zooms into Australia. And the whole time when the camera's zooming in, I was like, ah, 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 and the whole theater was just screaming. screaming it felt like yeah. we were like no, that happens. That's, that's a pretty normal that. day yeah, in Australia. That. Yeah, that's yeah. how Actually, we wake that's up. That's interesting. I wonder if we, we drop in, in from where, space like it's a battle royale on where they show. Is it like where you live? I don't well, know. I'd, where it, do it they like, show? It zooms into where Furiosa is, but but you could see in the corner at one point you, it leaves the camera, but you could see Harper and a kangaroo just fighting each other. Yeah, is this going to sound stupid? But n- at no point when I was watching like Fury Road was I like this is Australia. Like I've just realized that that has to be Australia. Right? <laughs> well, have you seen Mad Max One? I've seen it's Mad just... Max. I've told yeah, you. It's, 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 did we talk about this? It's just like, well, this, oh yeah, I did. We did. Is, it's just normal. It's going to give away where I live, but it's filmed like twenty minutes that way. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. But it's just like normal Australia. Like there's yeah. all greenery and there's homes and there's towns and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And then in between that my, and the my, next movie, my it's... nan used to live in Clunes where it was filmed at like that main street. So the first time I saw the first Mad Max is like when I what was it a kid? I was like a teenager. I was just like. Hang on a second. Whoa. That's my nan's place. <laughs> <laughs> you're like in the window on like your Adidas shorts. <laughs> you know, like you just yeah. like that completely. I do love that though. Like in in the in the Mad Ma- like in Fury Road, which is the best one. Like it's all about mm. oh, this. You know, a Morton Joe has all the water, and that's why he's so important. Water, he's got yeah. so much water. But in the first movie, it's like Max has a house that overlooks like a river. And but it's in like the first movie, it's not. It's not shit. even like the apocalypse. They're just like I, that's what's so funny to me, though. Is yeah, that they are just cops? And then in the second yeah. movie, they're like, he's like, actually, it's a wasteland. This is a, yeah. this is a yeah, this is nothing. Yeah, it, <laughs> no, it doesn't make any all. fucking sense. Yeah, it's I love bizarre. That. I don't get it. It's anymore. like it's like two months. It cannot be yeah. longer. <laughs> yeah. What two months in Australia will do to a motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the wasteland. Yeah, I love that. I like how you guys pulled me back from the green lamp conversation by going, what do we, we'll, we'll throw Mad Max Australia, at him and see if he takes the book. Yeah. Subway surfers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they go to Australian Family Guy. There was, a, um, you guys would have loved this. There was a, it was like New South Wales, which is like the state next door. It was like one of their politicians delivering like a, a message for like an upcoming election. And it was 70% of the screen was him talking and the bottom was actual Subway Surfers gameplay. And that was like genuine, like posted by like the New South Wales government. And like all the comments were like, honestly, it's working. Like I watched the whole thing. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm going to vote for him too. Yeah, I'm going to fuck. It was crazy. (laughs) That's awesome. Damn. Paying attention. Should we do comics? I read one comic this week. Ultimate. Yeah, both this apartment. I read that too. JD, get on it. It's good. Ooh. It's actually it's actually excellent. It's really good. Um it's boring, man. Hey, that's not cool, man. That's not cool. That's not funny. I mean, this issue was just a, <laughs> okay. an explanation issue. It's yes, not this much issue explains. Today. Uh Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. And, and he wonders why he's broke. Yeah. <laughs> or money, yeah. Oh, but it, it explains uh, Harry's deal. Uh, what what's up with Harry? What he inherited? 
And yeah, Har- it, Harper it, it, was right about something too. Was I? What was he right about? He's like everyone's just Iron Man in this universe, isn't it? Oh yes, everyone yeah. is just Iron Man. And there's a reason oh, yeah. why. Look at they, that. They broke into Iron Tony Man. Stark's house oh. and just took the Iron Man suits and painted them. They yeah. gotta stop. Stop doing that, Tony. Stop letting that happen. Uh, Tony's he's, 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 gone. He's, you know, yeah, he's, oh, he's a bit. Uh... Yeah, but they're, like, like they, though, they literally are Iron Man. Suits. This is so <laughs> weird. But I like that um, new Ultimate uh, Otto Octavius is just Ditko Peter Parker. Oh, yeah. Well, he is. <laughs> it's yeah, like it's interesting, isn't it? That's I a weird choice. It works, that, yeah. but um, he's. Um, he helps them build the suit. Otto Octavius is like their he's the guy in the chair, pretty much. And I like it. Is a there's a weird mystery, I feel, that they show because basically they turn on uh the green goblin suit and they get a bunch of pings of Stark tech that's going off. And it shows that it's the Stark it's it's Tony, I think at least it's Tony going to people and giving them their superpowers, right? Like it's implied that it's what happened yeah. to Peter. Yeah. But there's like a million dots on this fucking map. And there's some in Staten Island, too. And I'm wondering why Tony Stark has not come to my house. But also, I'm wondering, <laughs> who is this? Because the Shocker says he got his gauntlets from someone who Tony Stark delivered them to and then had a heart attack. And I'm like, yeah. who who in the Marvel Universe had gauntlets? <laughs> I was thinking that, <laughs> the, too. Yeah. Shuri. I'm just... That, and oh! I'm, I'm, I'm sure... <laughs> sure he's in ultimate black panther um but I was, i'm also wondering like that, that's probably that probably will be answered anyway but yeah i was just wondering that's a mystery it's a good issue it is a good issue and in harry's kind of like yeah, spider-man of it? or not not jealous but he's wondering why tony's reviving these heroes because he doesn't yes. have the context that we do so well, tony's just like it does a little bit howard stark on his server just has you know he he basically has all the issues of Ultimate Invasion on it, and mm-hmm. and Harry read them, and he's just like, "Yo, like Hickman's Hickman's cooking, but we got to get ready for this, man." Yeah. And that's what so said. yeah, this that's pretty much what's going on. It's good. We have about a year and a half one, left until back, though. Ultimate return or until like Ultimate Miss Randowson comes back, the Maker. Yes, was it uh, the Maker? Yeah. And so. Ultimates is uh, next week, so. Yes. Oh, yeah. I that's, dropped Avengers and added that to my be list. Good man. Yeah, I'm excited for that's that. Gonna be good. Uh, I'm yeah. I'm excited for comics in general right now. Absolute Power is really good. I read, finally read the free comic book day issue. I'm oh, excited for that. Uh, Daredevil's okay. I dropped Avengers after reading this. I don't care for Blood Hunt, and the next three issues are Blood Hunt. Because you're tie-ins. too poor to afford it, buddy. Well, and then after this is like, oh, and then Storm joins the Avengers. I'm like, I, I don't think I really care about Avengers anymore. Wow. So when Storm joins the Avengers, you don't care about the Avengers. What does that say about Hunter Mm, Colmore? He really is Artist from The Walking Dead. (laughs) Yeah. I should read The Walking Dead to find out who this this man is. Yes. JD, just saying, you have a go at me for like not paying attention during the podcast. This is you. Look at you. I'm I'm mugging. You are d- <laughs> these are yeah. these are mewing. It's I'm a fair point. Mewing and mogging and he's allowed to yeah, do that, this, Harper. This is peak peak human physique. <laughs> he you look like that. Rocky after like six rounds. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> um so so you weren't paying attention, you were taking photos of me, so you just admit it's not paying attention. Uh no, they were talking about Something we don't give a shit about. Ultimate Spider. I actually, I actually don't remember what we were talking about either. I don't remember what you were talking about. Either, but I actually <laughs> oh, he dropped paid. Avengers. He dropped Avengers. I called them poor because. Oh, yeah, okay. oh I dropped it to majority. replace with Ultimate because of Storm. He was like, yeah. I need a white book. Storm. Yeah, I need a. Well, this just, used to be a white book. Have you enjoyed? See, oh my god. <laughs> have you enjoyed McKay's Avengers? Because I have. Yeah, I think it's cool. I mean, I'm reading Blood Hunt. You, you're kind of missing the big, you know, Avengers I think it's McKay, story. Yes. But I know. It's, it's I am McKay. missing out. That was but good, I, Harvey. That was I've read 14 issues and um I never I like liked it. it. That's not true. No, that's not true. I like the first arc. But that's it. Issues, <laughs> like now I'm deciding I don't like it. Come I on, didn't I like it. I, I didn't like it. the second arc, and now it's just so many blood hunt tie-ins, and I'm like, I don't think I care about Captain America working with Quicksilver and Hazmat. So... You don't like him beating up Nazi zombies or what Nazi uh, vampires. No, it's, that's cool, yeah, but mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm why? Why is it cool, that. Hunter? Why is it so cool? Because he's. Wait, why? Why would it not? What do you like the most out of the Nazi and the zombies part? Which part? Which half? Vampires, vampires, vampires. It's vampires. So I guess the vampire part. Okay. okay. All right. That was not what he said to us in the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is what he said about James Wan. <laughs> Green Lantern's great right now. JD caught up. No, I have not <laughs> This is, I know this is random, but like Hunter, I feel like you could easily get cancelled the most out of all of us, but out of like pure like accident. Yeah, like, 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 <laughs> like, I've never even heard him say a curse word. I've known this guy like eight years. I've heard him say fuck. I, I heard him say fuck. That's an old wives tale. No, it's happen. not. It is. It's crazy. It's, it's an old wives tale. <laughs> the cat in the background is looking, A, it looks like Hitler right now. It looks, also, it's just looking about like to say it looks like Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> it's also like looking like it wants to kill you, bro. <laughs> what the hell? Look, it looked away like not me. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's just shadow because she doesn't have any marks like below the mouth and nose, so it's just white there. Uh, I thought she has one. No. Mm. How do you call her? Do you like call her name, or do you just put like one hand to the sky? Like, what do you do? <laughs> He's you show an example, Hunter. Mabel. She hates you. Oh, oh. God, I thought he was going to do it. Hey, Governor, Careful. 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 No, no, I, I never. <laughs> um, yeah, Daredevil's all right. Thor's all right. Man, are comics failing us? No. Yeah. Oh, oh, maybe. I. You know, <clears throat> I, read, I was actually, I read this. I'm like, this is incredible. I love this. And then I, I like, why, why well, did last week so do i have last week's books no i don't so, so here, here's my thought when you're spending money and you don't really have money you think about it more when you're yeah. like tyler and, and harper and you're just like throwing stacks Balling, yeah of obviously. 399 a book you're just like whatever that's fucking peanuts to hunter that's his last 399 fucking well hunter blood. i also think that you gotta because because you I, I you posted on your story about i think green lantern you said it's one of the best books out and I'm just like, but I feel like you're not reading enough to say that. I think you got to do what I do. You got to expand. You got to go outside. Have, you got to read some indie stuff. I'm reading 11 series right now. Yeah, and yes, they, anymore. The none of them are like, they're, they're all pretty well known series. They're all pretty well known, but yeah, they're all Marvel and DC. Uh, I'll pull it up for now. Right? Pull up the list. Yeah, they're they're Marvel they're, and, DC. Well, and, and Sonic the Hedgehog. But... Sort of him taking a Oh, you're up it. on Sonic. Yeah, man. Now he's reading it monthly. That's pretty good. I got Batman, World's Finest, Daredevil, Green Lantern, Miles Morales, Superman, uh, Ultimates, Mortal Thor, Ultimate Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, and I Sonic the Hedgehog. I feel you, bro. I, I, I don't know, man. Read Man's Best with the Cats and the Dog. It's good. <laughs> with the Cats and the Dog. I don't know. When it comes to like time where like I could read comics now, I just, I'm just i watching Dragon Ball. That's it. Yeah, I don't know. Does this, this count for new? Yeah, dude. Better Call Saul is going so fucking hard, bro. He just he just tricked the court. Oh, okay. You should have seen the looks on their faces. It's good stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like Harper's kind of with me. We're just like we have time. Let's just binge a really good show right now. Yeah, I'm like I'm rewatching Better Call Saul. I'm I'm watching the John Wick films again. Still the best franchise. Oh, they're they're awesome. Yeah, they're they're fucking the best the best franchise in history, cinematic history. I did have a question for a uh, a topic, I guess, because I was thinking that there was not a lot of news. And it was kind of, it it's not entirely related because you asked if comics are failing us. But I was just going to ask what's the best era in comics? Because like, it's not now. No. You know, it isn't now. It's not the past. I'm going to say it was like 1997, 1998, that Heroes Reborn kind of era. That's Oh, yes. That the Heroes bad. Reborn when Rob Liefeld was on uh, Avengers yeah. and Captain America. I, I think I, like right after that though, like early two thousands is like peak for both companies. I was gonna say early two thousands. So, yeah. I, I feel like early, it's like so, for me, it's like late two thousands, like early twenty tens. I, I think DC really? peaks a little bit earlier. I think DC peaks in the nineties and yeah. Marvel peaks actually, peaks. sorry, sorry. It's about it's about two thousand and three to twenty eighteen or whenever the Walking Dead started and finished. <laughs> well, because like, I have thought about this today. I think you said did okay so 90s people love dc right? like takes off in like 1992 i feel like when they kill superman 
Yeah, like right around yeah, that see, era. Like, like see, Zack Snyder stuff. knew what he was doing. Kill <laughs> <laughs> yeah. fuck him out of here. But the, Red wait, and there's blue the whole Superman, like you can't get better than that. There's the whole era where they killed Superman and Nightfall. then they replaced Batman. Yeah, they Nightfall oh. Batman, and then and then they uh, they do Kyle Rayner. You Green Arrow. You have yeah, a new Green, Green Arrow's Lantern. gone. Yeah, uh, like Wally's that was all new, all different DC, but actually good, not woke. Yes, and I, I so, <laughs> yes, it's, it's <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, what's his name? Connor Hawks a bit. Woke. He agreed. He agreed. You heard it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I that is a really good like. Time the there's a lot of good agree. characters like it's characters so good that even though they have no place for them today they have to put them in books because people would be pissed right. like tim drake right tim um, drake, uh fucking bart allen and connor kent all had oh, yeah. theories like that would never happen nowadays they wouldn't even make it past six issues yeah i actually did you hear that Marvel i mean superboy today, had like a six issue series and it wasn't popular marvel today wasn't good i read it I think oh, yeah, Marvel today mm-hmm. only has three, uh, or no, seven or something like that books that are above uh, twenty issues. Yeah. What? Right. So, Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Something like that. So it's like, yeah, that's bad. That's crazy that they that the both three of them got a uh, hundred issues each. Mm-hmm. Right. But I was gonna say, because the two thousands is a good period of time for both Marvel and DC, and mm-hmm. I think when you look at the two thousands as well. Before the '90s, there wasn't a lot to speak for an indie because Image didn't exist. But then 2000s, obviously, you get The Walking Dead, you get Invincible, and stuff like that. So and I want to give it to the '80s because I love the '80s stuff, and I literally just made a post about how '80s Marvel is peak Marvel. But it it's uh, it's probably the 2000s of comics, it, it, right? No, it is. I, I think if you had every to character one or the has other. a defining. Uh, story from the 2000s but sideways Every doesn't exist one. so who cares Ooh, it's true and then <laughs> damage didn't exist damage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> silence but it's like so. especially every marvel character i think kind of has like a all-time peak Best run story. in the 90s or in the in the 2000s like iron man arguably mm. hits his lowest and then hits his highest and daredevil um daredevil it's his lowest and hits his highest Civil in the War. 2000s Civil War and then Fraction. Oh yeah, good point. <laughs> you forgot about Civil War, <laughs> right? Yeah, like, Civil I mean, War going pretty... great. I was thinking like like Iron Man runs. I'm like all his books around there were were like really good. They got shit nah, when Civil like War. Kieran Gillen took over. No, you're right. You're I mean, right. to be that's probably not the lowest of Iron Man. Like it's probably still when they said he's been evil since Avengers issue one uh, mm, in the nineties. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but they retconned that, so it's okay. Yes, but they didn't retcon it. They got rid of him. And well, they got they, rid of him, <laughs> replaced him, but then they merged them back together and yes. made it that he was my They control. Superman reborn him. They Superman um, reborn him, yeah. Yeah, and yes, and then Captain America gets your Ed Brubaker run and then the Bucky run, right? Spider-Man's on, JMS is on Spider-Man. Ringo and Wade are on Fantastic Four. I was going to uh, say Bendis on Daredevil. Bendis on Daredevil, Bendis on New Ultimate Spider-Man. Brubaker on Avengers. Daredevil, like at the Brubaker. end of that decade, 2009. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Um, Dude, and then you Marvel got is like untouched. a lot of good X Men stuff. Josh, you did on X Men. Two thousands Marvel, yeah. I think, is the best of the big. Oh wow! Two is that ever? A big... Yeah, it's the bit best of the big two ever. Yeah, I think it's I like. Agree. It, I agree. I feel like it's like two thousand and three oh, or four to like twenty fifteen. I feel like well, it starts I, somewhere. Not, it ends. It, at I know Secret exactly Wars, what it is. And that's the best. Yeah, it's it starts with Ultimate Spider Man issue one. Which is two thousand, and then it ends with yeah. Sig Wars. Yeah, yeah. So even then, like Grant Morrison joins X Men, then and it gets really good there. It's a crazy run of comics, yeah. like, and you could read it all as one big story as well. And like, DC, you start, it's awesome. DC is interesting. Though, essentially, I think. Crisis on Infinite Earths to, I guess, Infinite Crisis is where it starts to like die off, or Final Crisis. The peak like, of DC. Like is where it just dies. Oh, what's the peak? Of, well, okay, yeah. Cri- peak of DC crisis. would die with like infinite. No, you got like right? JLA by Morrison. You got like Batman yeah. by Chuck Dixon. You got you know. Yeah, Batman, Chuck Dixon, Batman, Alan uh, Grant, Superman and Triangle Era. Alan yes, Grant. The Superman. Lantern. Yeah, Alan Grant from Lantern Jurassic Park. Was, yeah. that, was that when oh, Wade shit. was on? Flash? Oh, I finished. I finished Black reading Park The Lost Wade. World, Good job. the second Jurassic Park book. Where are Good novels. Job, so um, Wade, Wade's on. Uh, would you say Wade is on what? Wade's on Flash. Flash. Yeah, Wade's on Flash. But then, what did you say, Hunter? 
Oh, I said it waits on Flash, and then JD just said it after me. So. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm so on well, Flash. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's the '90s era. And then, what's who's who's Ron? Who's this was Ron JD's Mars? face when Hunter said that that, that was Wade the was on Flash. He was just like <laughs> <laughs> Ron Mars invents uh, Kyle Rayner and Kyle stuff Rainer. like that. Yeah. Yeah. And the burn Superman, which people argue about a lot. I didn't even know you could do that. I thought he would be like impervious. I, to yeah, fire. you. I wouldn't think so too, man. I wouldn't think so. His fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> but I, is it true, like the same parameters as the Marvel one? Does every DC character have a peak run in that time? Yes. Uh, what about Wonder besides, Woman? Besides buddy? Aquaman. Besides Aquaman, because well, no Wonder Woman yeah. ever had a peak people run, though. Peter David no. Aquaman, but I could give no. Less. Well, I guess I guess peak Wonder Woman to a lot of people is uh, George, George, Perez. George. Yeah, and that was post crisis. Yeah. So, yeah. No, get fucked. Yes. So get fucked. I'm sorry. Where's my sorry. money, bitch? Where's my money, um, bitch? <laughs> I'm trying to think oh, of what else because like make right more money. Where's my I money? Think, oh, that looks like hell. I I think Batman definitely. Yeah, I I don't. I think I'm gonna drop it. Actually, there's no way Hunter read every single one of those speech bubbles. He definitely just skimmed. Them. <laughs> I spent he like lot. opened the page and he just went mm, the beach. I'm just like, like that's a lot page. of words. What's next? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fight scene. I think no fighting in this. I know when Batman peaks. Batman peaks in the like direct post crisis. Until like no man's land, and that's a long stretch. Um, have and you read New Fifty Two? It's also no. it's also uh, not even just a long stretch, but think about how many bad books were coming out at that time. There was like, like nine or ten. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that's also when you get your your Chuck Dixon and Nightwings and stuff Chuck as well. Dixon, Nightwing and Chuck Dixon and Robin, like. Oh, I make- loved him. That that first Robin book is crazy. That shit goes. That goes hard as fuck. Yeah. 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 That's, that's but, DC. But- I, it's on peak, but I really liked like 2011 to 2017 DC. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> okay. Five good new 52 books. There were 52 of them. Go ahead. Five of them. Go ahead, five. <laughs> Go ahead Hunter. Oh, like name five? Name five yes. good new 52 books. Pain time. Batman, Aquaman, Justice League, The Flash, Green Lantern. The Flash? I thought Flash was good. Well, Flash was good. Flash the, was first, good. the first four of the Flash the, are good. The Manipole run. Yeah, yeah. yeah but like yeah. when you compare it to like the actual he, peak of Flash in the 90s, you're like, this that's peak I'm not very... saying it's peak. It's, I'm, I'm saying it's say, a good time. I'm going to say, I think those first four volumes of, of, of Flash and New 52 are better than most of Rebirth. Like most um, of Joshua It's better Williams than all of right. Rebirth and Flash. Yeah. yeah Flash war, though. I think Williamson catches them at the end, but yeah, I would agree with the beginning. Does you he know, catch like, him at the end? Because he no, I think I genuinely think Williamson did not end. catch him. He's too slow. He's just a guy. Yeah, that's true. The fl- he's just a flash, man. That's a good joke. <laughs> up, up, top, up top, bro. Yeah, I hate uh, it here. <laughs> they go for Australian think, zoo hat, damn it. But I think, <laughs> think? I, I genuinely yeah. think like those four. Um, oh, nice job. Oh. <laughs> I think those four. Um, what is it? Manipole books are peak Barry Allen. Yeah. Besides, uh, like, yeah, if, no, if, yeah, I agree. If, if, if the 2010 uh, Flash run went longer, that it, would be peak. That was literally going to be the sentence that you, I was bro. going to me say. And you. <laughs> yeah. And, and, but, and that's true. Yeah. That's, a, um, that's but, a Black Adam reference. Me and you. Me and you. Me and you. <laughs> <laughs> On the ship. Me and you. But other than that, yeah. But I, I'm, because I'm wondering. Okay, but besides the, those five Nubity 2 books, can you name like other good Nubity 2 books? Because. Yeah. Uh, the, I had to like look at a list. I feel like Superboy by Scott Lobdell, um, yeah, or or Old by Scott in the uh, <laughs> Superman by Scott Lobdell. Did I do later on? I thought <laughs> I thought we are Robin. I thought by Scott Lobdell. <laughs> he was going uh, crazy. We... Well, that really went all the way on Scott Lobdell. Didn't I? <laughs> why did he have to lay down during the interview? Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> why? Um... Why did we review? <laughs> Review oh him. God. Why was Scott Lobdell <laughs> on a hero story? Reviewed Scott Lobdell. That's funny. Um, who's who's what? I mean, we've had some interesting guests. We had Gavin this. and Scott Lobdell. Scott Lobdell. Scott Lobdell. Probably the worst guest we ever had. Yes, we need Greg Land. <laughs> you remember when Harper was all nice in his first episode? He's like, "Boy, I'm just so happy to be on the show, boys." Hello. 
<laughs> no, no, no. It's not. No, no, no. Uh, uh, no, it's not. It's not the niceness. It's the I'm gonna drop a little truth bomb. Gets me every time. Like who talks like that? <laughs> you, you do. We're like, oh <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is Pete Harper. That is Pete Harper. Yeah, no. We, we peak I was gonna early. say. So the Marvel events in the 2000s have arcs, right? There's a there's a straight arc through them all, and it's you know it's it's the Bendis Avengers story. And then it becomes the Hickman Avenger story. Um, and then the, the events in DC, though, they're there way more is like, the they are all over the place, but there, I feel like Infinite Crisis, right? Like, there's the build up to Infinite Crisis where um, they kill Ted Cord and badass. I think it's badass. They, <laughs> they, kill, they kill Ted Cord and then um, Wonder Woman kills maxwell lord yep. and um superman and batman are real mad at her and the trinity is split right and then in infinite crisis they all they they the trinity fights you know the multiverse or whatever and then they reunite and then they quit for a year and then they do 52 and one I year think later like that was a weird but 52 is cool and i like that idea i think that that's awesome i feel like if there was more of something like that where it's like everything there's steps that happen where the characters and the relationships change and then you know more grows that could have well, been like something special I, but, but I then they do final for, crisis yeah like what you could say for 90s and 2000s dc is you at least felt like the wave of other books like there's a young justice issue where where uh no man's <laughs> going to happen like the world's yes. like fucked up and they're like I, what yeah. the fuck like why is god i feel all- like I feel like that's the same with Marvel. I feel like you feel the wave in Marvel books, like Ultimatum, for example. DC, you don't feel that. Like in in newer DC, you don't no, feel I don't that. Think that's well. true though, because they're doing that. No, with, no, um, he, with no, absolute no. power and stuff. Tyler like, got like, it. Everything is. Hey, hey. Yeah. But like it's when metal, I'm saying when hey, metal, hey. When you're the villain was happening. Do you feel any uh, of that was connected? No. Well, JD, no, even JD. though I did it feel was, like it was I don't, I don't actually, I don't actually believe that about Marvel. I said you can feel the wave in Marvel, and I said remember Ultimatum. You're the villain. Actually, did feel the big wave. Ultimate. <laughs> remember the big wave in Ultimate, the Ultimatum wave. Tell yourself, you know, please. You like, don't know what I'm talking about. You you're not, the know. villain. Had the similar appear in every single book, so it did feel connected in that way. That wasn't that, but that was bad. No, it wasn't good. Yeah, I agree there. But yeah. it did feel connected. <laughs> it's just, just no one cared. Like, and I know this is the question that everyone has asked, but like, if Flashpoint didn't do what it did, because it wasn't supposed it wasn't to. It wasn't intended to, right. Like, where would we be at now? You know, it would just... Because Rebirth was basically like, we're sorry. But if they didn't mm. do New 52, they wouldn't have had to say sorry. You know? Yeah. So, And also, I Rebirth just... is like a half ass sorry it's like it's yeah. a new 52 2.0 it's, it's if 50, new 52 it, it's, was yeah. ultimate there would have been like way less problems if they would have said it should have been the universe yeah, it should have been its own yeah because like dc is still fucked from from new 52 yes. like we're still what? feeling that is this happening is this shit. part of it and, right, what's like, canon what's not it would have yeah. been so easy to do that in flashpoint as well to say that the flashpoint earth has also rebooted and that's the ultimate universe and then we still have the prime fucking dc universe remember when doomsday clock was like we're bringing it back and it wasn't it really didn't it wasn't anything like it didn't matter yeah. whatsoever and then, and then in death get metal, rid of the L. Relax, I, liberal. Call dark. That is that is like <laughs> that is an inconceivable miss that Doomsday Clock wasn't like a bigger like like put all the books on pause and like like make it Secret yeah. Wars. You know what I mean? I, 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 I totally all, thought, all my three years of college. I, I totally yeah. thought Wally West would be a huge part of that too because they were setting yeah, him up as like this. He blipped out of a portal universe. at one point and went fuck you, Doctor Manhattan, Doctor Manhattan. Yeah, and like, and and, and then in, uh, in one of the issues, Lex Luthor says, "This isn't about the Flash." Uh, like, yes, it yeah. is. <laughs> like, yeah, it kind of was. It is for like four they years. They definitely changed that, and I will stand on that. Yeah. Well, here's the thing: was it because when the issue ends? And the uh, rebirth issue ends, and Batman takes the comedian's pin out of the yeah, wall. No, yeah. That is break glass in case of emergency. That's the last DC story you can possibly tell. You yeah. cross over with Watchmen. You're Watch, done. that's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's your, mm-hmm. That, was like, that, is that the was like our final Mark Wade interview. Story. Right? Like, that should have ended the show, but we just kept going or, and we've exactly, been pumping yes. out like shit after why, that. Yeah. Like, and, like, why that's... did we do that? Exactly. We, we should have done, but they should have, like, that should be the end of DC. 
they should never make comics again after they've done that because <laughs> you've clearly run out of ideas. You, you brought Watchmen into it. You yeah. And that is the fault of New 52. Like you're saying, like we're still recovering from that. They fucked up so hard that in a board meeting, they said, <laughs> We gotta make a sequel to Watchmen. Yeah, we gotta hit the Watchmen <laughs> break glass in case <laughs> yes. of merch. We have they to make Watchmen Jeff too. Said, they turned to Jeff yeah. John and just they put the comedian pin and Batman and they said, What do you got? Yeah, yeah no, it's it's Jeff Go. Johns and, and Dan Didio. They both have a key and they have to like like it's like launching oh, it's like like fucking launching a nuke. Like, yeah. <laughs> they look at each other and nod. Like, yeah, yeah. So they what? nod and both have to press the fucking button at the same time. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> it's so crazy that they did that. It's like you think and, about it and you're well, just like you are correct. I'm not saying like oh DC's the worst ever because they continued after that because I think the Green Lantern is incredible right now, but honestly, all the other books aren't that incredible. And I'm, I, I'm them, enjoying you know, Batman. Obviously, but... obviously, don't stop making DC comics ever, mm. but like that was such I feel like because like Marvel won't even let Spider-Man like Peter have a kid. And I just feel like at some level editorially someone would have been like no don't do that like yeah. because once you do that you can't not d have done it you know because then we got wally manhattan and can't unring that bell. laughs and stuff like that you know what i mean it's like i think that suit is cool it is really cool, cool. i yeah. like that suit a lot <laughs> is, it worth, really is it worth the fact that like the original watchman doesn't really matter now oh yeah it doesn't <laughs> you know <laughs> he's thinking cool. it out he's thinking it out but it's that's what I mean is like it's it's crazy that I feel like someone would have that's said tough. no, you know what I mean, and nobody did. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, that's like for me. It's like if Marvel were to do that, it would have to be like they 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 they're at the edge of space or something, and something shoots through a portal, and it's the Millennium Falcon, and you're like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's what that is. <laughs> And they haven't done that yet, and I'm blown away. I guess, yeah, haven't. Disney owns the boats. No, so but could. no, I, I don't think it is, because, like, Marvel doesn't have a, a thing that's disconnected <laughs> like Watchmen was and is as big as Watchmen. You know what I mean? They don't have their own... Like, if yeah. if Star Wars was only a Marvel comic that existed one time right, 30 years enough. ago, and it was yeah, untouched, yeah. then, like, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I don't, it's crazy. I don't mean... But it's but you, but you know what I mean though. It's like one yeah thing, yeah. It's and like I'm blown away they haven't done that crossover. You know, the level of desperation that, that DC must have been like like yeah. I, who pitched it? I have to know. Was it Jeff Johns? I think it yeah, was. When, yeah. when are we gonna get the interview where somebody finally tells us what the hell happened? In Jeff DC? Johns does follow me on Instagram. We Yo, get him. get him all. We gotta quite. We gotta we intimidate gotta him. him. Yeah. What happened in Rebirth? But what for every you? DC question you ask, you have you have to ask five about his one about, about, yeah. about yeah about uh, yeah about uh do Luke you like Exodus. ghost machine do you think it's cool all right so what the oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah what why'd happened you dig up here? watchman well, dude, was like, <laughs> why'd you piss on alan moore's corpse you know, we know like, he's alive flashpoint <laughs> beyond ended with a girl that invented at the end of doomsday clock with baby ozymandias saying we're looking for the watchman who is the baby clark john dr manhattan superman yes. son guy that happened i didn't know that, that that's hilarious and, and like so that's a thing that's out there it's like wow we're making more watchmen the third one. That's okay like... picture this all right picture yeah. this watchmen the last halloween oh watchmen doomsday clock doomsday clock i like that <laughs> doomsday yeah watchman the last halloween a doomsday clock story a good day to die hard <laughs> i guess we're lucky they didn't call well, it that yo doomsday clock a watchman story you know, <laughs> dark yeah. dark nights I mean, before before i know they did like before watchman and stuff but i still feel like that's not as egregious Wasn't there an issue where like no like, before watchman's like fine sorry but they should wasn't there an issue before watchman where like it's just rorschach like jerking off is like Issue, probably like, i mean he i don't know but travis it's the one that's bickle, got travis bickle from taxi yeah, driver in it he does meet travis bickle <laughs> the dr manhattan <laughs> one of those is really good and the silk specter one people, is terrible and the, the raw shack one, one is, is, is decent because the night owl one is done by darwin cook oh did he darwin cook 
What Either do you reckon? Cooked all over. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's funny. Do you remember when the Batman who laughs took the brain of a Dr. Manhattan and put it in himself yeah. or whatever? No, you mean Scott Snyder ruined this. Bat Hatton. Because oh, I, yeah, I think was Bruce like Wayne, we're Dr. saying Man. like Doomsday Clock was like the last thing that they could have done. But I still think Doomsday Clock is still a good book. Like it's not That's bad. Good. Yeah, no, it just should have meant more. Like yeah. established in Doom. I like Doomsday Clock establishing this is literally how the mechanics of the DC universe work. Like yeah, I like that and all too. that stuff, and and how it's all based on Superman. I love that. That's so interesting. Yeah, it's cool. It's well done. Yeah, You're it's a well metal, made death book. metal. Death metal killed issue. it. Yeah, with death that, with Harper showing. It. But can you blame Scott Snyder oh, because that, that Jeff Johns? Jeff Johns put those toys in the box. He said you can use Dr. Manhattan. You can use Rorschach. You can use these characters. Yeah, I that's Bruce it. Wayne. It's going to be me. It, that's it, crazy. It, yeah, it, you know what I mean? It's like, I feel like that Scott Snyder, like, once they break that class, it's like, oh, fuck it. Yeah, sure, I'll do that too. You know? Yeah. We're lucky that they haven't, like, put Dr. Manhattan in the main universe and split him in two and done, you know, Manhattan Red and Manhattan Blue. Uh, Manhattan Red, Manhattan Blue, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we're lucky that they're not doing that, at least. Uh, which they could. I mean, they, they brought back some Red and Blue with John Kent, too. That's true. They did do that. Have they done, but besides Flashpoint Beyond, have they done any Watchmen stuff recently? I don't even know. Uh, oh, Just Society oh, did stuff, but I think that's it. I mean, Jeff Johns as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, but he's no longer on the book. But it's still continuing, I saw. Wait, he's on. Wait, Justice Society did Watchmen stuff. Yeah. What did it do? Well, they talked about like Doctor Manhattan. I think, but oh, but I'm saying like using Watchmen characters and pieces and stuff. Yeah, I don't. I think no, no one's done anything since, and I think no one wants to do anything, which is good. I guess yeah, he has. Sure to do. Uh, Jeffrey Thorne's Green Lantern showed the Manhattan symbol. Being you know, like, yeah. Like Morrison's? Uh oh yeah, it was Graham Morrison's right? Never mind. Yeah, but it was that just was for a second. The era too, though. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I think Doomsday Clock works. I think Doomsday Clock is a good Superman story. Mm -hmm. I think, but what? It, but was it worth it? Is the question we're always going to be asking? Because mm -hmm. I, I sent this in the chat, and and I mean it. I just wonder if we'll look back at Jeff Johns like Oppenheimer, where it's like he he did this to Watchmen, and he did this to the world. You know what I mean? He gave us the he who laughs or whatever. The one who yeah. laughs. That's his fault. He, he laughs, that's right. It, wasn't that it? It was the one. Oh, it was yeah. the it, darkest it, night. I guess like us the as an audience are like Albert Einstein. We're just. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We read the notes and we're just like, oh, God. I remember <laughs> when Rebirth came out and, and he did that. And I just went. Okay. You know, because I, I was hyped. A, I he wasn't was a Wally tears. West fan. I, I, don't I was, know, I was hyped too. I was also. I don't know in if tears. I knew. I don't even know if I really knew who Wally West was, and so that didn't. Who's this me. guy? Was, oh, the redhead Flash. I, from from Young Lama. Justice. He's from the Young Justice but, show. But when they put, but I had read Watchmen by that point, and I just remember being like, okay, we're this is this okay. You know I hadn't I mean? read Watchmen yet at that point. But, but how did you react? I was like, oh, it's the read, thing from the thing. Read. I was excited from, for Wally West because I knew I knew all, all of that. Yeah, but I, I had only you know I hadn't seen the movie at that point too. But I saw the pin. And I, my reaction was just Dude, like the movie is so much thing. more badass than the I, silly comic I book with silly costumes. <laughs> what well, the movie? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's the most comic accurate thing you can ever ask for. It's like it's not. I think I think, I think the TV show is fucked suit. too. To Remember in the comic when Better Silk Spectre and Night Owl are walking through the highway and then people come and attack them? They <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> But then, yes. you know what they do? Silk Spectre Night Owl, they punch and they run. But they, in the movie, they snap their they arms break, in half yeah. and yeah, exactly. like break yeah. their necks. Because like, uh, yeah. the, the point of the comic is that nothing is that gratuitous until you get to the, the squid. And issue. then it's super, super well, yes, just there's, there's not supposed to be violence. It's not supposed yeah. to be, like, it is violent. Watchmen is a piece of art. It is, it is. The, it is one of the best comic books of all time. It's mm -hmm. a perfect thing. It's like, you know, yep. there's a reason it is revered. It's, my fa it's got my favorite page in anything ever of all time. What is it? Which one? It's Rorschach sitting on the rooftop at the start of the first issue. 
Oh, page. you're serious? Yeah, that is a good That's page. Exactly. Yeah, I thought you were going to make a joke there. That is an incredible I'm, page. It'll, it'll be the, 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 the summary for some reason. It's just yeah. like you got fan art and whatnot. Well, it's also like everything about Watchmen works. The color palette is is opposite. You know, he doesn't use any primary colors. It's like the, the color palette's like purple and yellow and yeah. brown. Yeah, it's just a masterpiece. And again, so it's it's just like making a sequel to it, thirty years later, not written by the guy who wrote it. And also, it crosses over with like Superman with and stuff. Batman. Yeah. It is crazy. <laughs> and it's it has crazy problems to too. Do. It was delayed like crazy. And what the yeah. heck did Batman send to Mars? I was just about to say, what was his message to Mars? <laughs> oh, that's right. It's the little scene of like issue nine where he tries to send a message to Mars, but it fails. Oh, and no, but you know we what never... it is. It's it's that it wasn't um, it's the 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 blast or whatever. It, it, wasn't. it was the rock. It was the rock saying, "What about that ending?" That was saw that had to, he just had to ninety seven percent approval rating. <laughs> that Druid's scene is cool reactions. though, where you have like all the different families of DC all taking separate ships to I Mars. I love that. Oh my god, that scene is sick, and it's called the issue is oh, called god. Crisis. Yeah, like the Bat families um, together, Shazam families together. Then you go like Classic League, and but I think yeah, like Doom's that's like, awesome. Yeah, that like, is, yeah, suck, I, suck I, I shit. If you think there's so anything better than that, I don't care. I mean, give we're talking about that or Armor Wars. Oh, Armor Wars, you kidding? Dun, 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 I am Iron Man. No, but I think that, um, because it's like, it, oh, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, you, got but you got this. Doomsday Clock. Oh, Doomsday Clock should have been Secret Wars. Doomsday Clock should have, you know, like, because Secret Wars doesn't end. And then it, there's another story where they go, Secret Wars didn't fucking work. And now this is actually the story that matters. Because that's what Death Metal did. Death mm-hmm. Metal literally says that what happened in Doomsday Clock didn't actually work to fix the timeline. And now we have to do it in this story. Oh, but yeah, that's actually, right. Yeah, and that blows my mind. The Justice Society happened. returns again. Again, again, mm. for the third time. Yeah, And it's like, and if, if it was Secret Wars, if Doomsday Clock was Secret Wars and it was... The culmination of this entire storyline. Such a funny sentence. If Doomsday Clock was Secret if Doomsday Wars. Clock was Secret Wars, <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Doom would show up and he would have fucking told him what to do. But if it was like, you know what I mean, like the finale mm. of this storyline, starting from Flashpoint, yes, and then don't do anything with it again. You know, mm. Marvel hasn't brought back, you know, Molecule Man or the Beyonders and stuff and done anything like that because it doesn't yeah. matter anymore. You know, mm-hmm. he told that story. I just feel like Dooms. It, I know we're going to be saying this forever, but Dooms like, like really should have meant more. You know, of course, yeah. Again, yeah, monumental. But it feels like it like is the Star Wars just, sequels. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Kind of wow. is though. I, I never got the three of them. Does that include the Last Jedi, Jedi Tyler? What G? I I am greatly enjoying this conversation, but I unfortunately have to go. But this has been great. Yeah, buddy. How long, how long, long have we been yet? recording? It's probably time anyway, isn't it? I guess so. Yeah, I could try to kill you guys if you want. Oh, is that how you end the podcast? Yeah, I was thinking that. I could kill. I know how I could kill Harper, but yeah. Okay. One so thing you... before JD goes. Can you send me a selfie for the thumbnail, please? What the sigma? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This guy. All right, bye, JD. Now well, that JD's J- gone. Now Let's that talk he's about gone. Trump. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't actually know what to talk about. I was kind of done with the. I mean, no, I'm, I'm, I like the I like Doomsday Clock conversation because it. I, I was going to say the thing that I've taken from this podcast is like the new segment. Yeah, the comic segment. Like I, I'm realizing more and more that I like I love comics, but I can't I can't do what Tyler does, where it's like I'll branch out and do blah, but like that's not in me anymore. Like comics for well, me have it, to be like the thing that I'm already interested in. I can't branch your, out. Anymore. Is it your favorite medium? I think it has to be because like I couldn't I I would, would sooner you... jump right. on a random like issue that oh. you guys recommend than watch like Ted Lasso. I don't know why. Like I just can't do it. Though. We've been recommending huh? you books for like three years. You and you're just like, yeah. yeah, you have. But again, I would still do it over a TV show recommendation or a, probably a movie as well. I was going to, yeah, that's what I was going to, but I was going to say, cause like for me, it's like, okay, what would I rather do at this point with my time? It's like, 
I can watch a movie, I can play a video game, I can read a comic. I'm gonna pick reading a comic mostly. You know? mm. Yeah, that's it depends I, on the time for me. Well, like, it it's hard for me to answer because, yeah. like, all of my stuff right now is like delving back into shit I already like because that's what we're doing. Yeah, it's doing like, like I, I, I'm thing. catching a, another person up on like my entire lexicon of shit that I've loved over my life. Like, yeah, you you have a this? setup where it's this? like your TV's here, then you sit in a chair next to your TV and you just watch your partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> yeah you, know, watch of t- you should have said, like, her favorite character in anything, uh, like, in anything we've watched so far is Gus Fring, right? Just loves fucking Gus Fring. And so we're getting to, like, season three of well. Better Call Saul, and I was just, like, sitting here like this, and when Mike's, like, doing his detective shit, and, like, the camera pulls back, and you yeah. see the Los Poyos Hermano son, she was just, yes. just like, <laughs> and I was that like, is... yes, exactly, yes! Yeah, I know, ex- <laughs> yep. 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 I know exactly so what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah, show. I, you should watch it. Good shit. I know. Yeah. I, I, I should watch that. Over. I should read Walking Dead. I should do. Yeah. I know. I, I know. know. But then, like, uh, like Hunter, you know how I I don't do that to you. You know how on a daily basis I don't go. You should read The Walking Dead. You should watch Better Call Saul. But yet, any time a movie comes out and I'm not interested, you're just like, I can't believe you don't watch movies. Think about this, like, though. shut Think up. About this, though. How about this though? You guys tell me to, to watch read some. I do it. That's, That's true. true. Tyler guys. does do it. I told Tyler, you Tyler, should play Baldur's Obi Wan. I ruined his life over I, it. Oh, I don't want to want to watch Obi Wan. <laughs> All right, fine. If I must. That's true. You told me to play Baldur's Gate, and then I played Baldur's Gate for forty hours straight. I lost the fucking bet about movies to you, and then I've come back to it, and I played it for like another twelve hours in, in like two days. Yeah. So I literally yeah. The Baldur's Gate is the reason why I won the movie bet. <laughs> like, yeah, did you guys I ever stop? Do you guys ever lay into me for not watching the new Scream movies? Are you never been a Scream fan? Yeah, because that's what I was going to say. Like, if you (laughs) do, you got to remember, I don't like any of them. I don't like the first one, especially. Yeah, if you don't like the first one, you're not going to like five. I'm not going to like them. Yeah, exactly. I think the latest one is the best one, though. Okay. Honestly, it is really. Do you good, think the yeah. next six one will good. be even better? <laughs> no, I think six yeah. one is. It, I agree with it's it. It's gonna be a dream. <laughs> what do you no, say? He said, "I agree with the new one." <laughs> Seven. Like I, I love I Scream. Scream is my favorite slasher. Like the first Scream. Mm-hmm. So I understand that I'm biased. So I love Scream five and six. But I know that you don't like it. So I'm not gonna yeah. recommend it to you. I'm like, how but could Halloween you not watch Kills? Is my favorite Scream time, five. So. Like, yeah. <laughs> I feel bad That's because sport. your favorite slasher is Halloween. You have to go through Halloween kills and Halloween ends. Yeah, buddy, I'd been through worse before those movies came along. Recently. You, well, yeah, you fought in World War Two. Ha- so Halloween, worse. Halloween kills is like high art compared to some of the shit I've suffered. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta remember, Hunter. Like your your knowledge of horror is like elevated horror from the 2010s. My knowledge is the worst movies you've ever seen, and like 400 of them. Like I've seen. Yeah, we had this conversation. Most bottom of the barrel. Not on the podcast recently, but yeah, Tyler and I are really into horror movies of today, like the past 15 yeah. years. Yeah, like, like this like stuff is that awesome. elevated horror genre. I, I have you know, a goal in life to night. to make one of those weird ones. So yeah. you should, yeah. yeah. Because they're I, weird I and like they're awesome right and we love eye. it. Yeah. And we tell Harper, Laura, you would like this one. And he's just like, And yeah, I probably but, would. But you then would you like, mentioned, I'm, I'm uh, too stuck X. on the fact that I've watched every Howling movie and I don't got that dog in me no more. <laughs> yeah, Harper's more like, no, I'm more into this movie. He'll name some obscure 80s movie that nobody's yeah, heard of. Yeah. Howling 3. You look it up online and it's like, like it's got movie. four reviews. But they're all like, yeah. this is awesome. <laughs> So yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> all right yeah people love it but yeah. well, the, anyway. the, the the handful of people love it you should so. watch the terror and the the terror within and the terror within part two they like mad max if will. mad max was a low budget corman movie with monsters what on did the you surface. say the terror and then the terror two and then the, the terror two no. two the terror within and the terror within two i'll show you what they look like they're like roger corman like exploitation flicks but they're like um oh, Fantastic Four. okay um, but like I, I recommend hugh harper to watch talk to me which is australian and it is an australian movie and and chris hemsworth recently said rodeo that was a scary movie man that, was a, <laughs> that, <laughs> that movie that movie scared me pits my piss off made me jump up my skin Ooh, yes, yeah, like that, that looks terribly good. <laughs> yeah. I saw that guy fight the Power Rangers. I was literally, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> was what I was gonna say. That's what I was gonna... Fuck. 
So yeah, I will I be watching. I, I am. I'm going away for the weekend, and I am going to be watching. I'm going to be showing her Lake Mungo, and then on the way back from our trip, we're going to be traveling through the places where the movie was filmed. Did I tell you Harper about my experience with Lake Mungo? No. I had I, I had some friends that we were going to watch three horror movies, which we sometimes yeah. do. So we like watched Mungo, like Mungo again. I think we oh, watched. I feel Saw. like you did. I feel like you did tell me this. And then we watched we, we watched the latest Paranormal Activity, like the one where they go to the Amish village. And I'm just like, all right, my friends have been hyping up this movie called Lake Mungo. So we start it. We play like a first few minutes. And it's like, wait, this is a documentary. So then we just stopped. <laughs> oh, it was. <laughs> we stopped after like three minutes into the movie and we watched like it's not an actual documentary it's like a, it's yeah. like a mockumentary but like not funny yeah it's like the office right it's like uh it's, yeah it's, it's like, 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 like uh, yeah it's like, like the, the office. office yeah like a girl like drowns Witch. and then they go to like they go to like gym and he's like <laughs> yeah that that like that like that's one of the places we'll be hitting I could have phrased that better. Um, yeah, I, I didn't like that, honestly. <laughs> there we are, comfy. I'm sorry. But okay, yeah. <laughs> End it there. End it there? Well, yeah. uh, well, you, you should get into more modern ones. Harper, I'm going to end it with uh, your your death here. I guess I should be a bit more cinematic. This is I'm kind of okay with this. What is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. He's pulling out a, a marker. This better. Oh, I see writing he's... me in the death note. What is he doing? Oh, my oh God. no. I hate this guy. Oh, no. I hate this it's guy. On top here. If I should have a symbol, it should be one I respect. This guy. So, for the audio listeners, he just drew the Dr. Manhattan logo on his forehead with a Sharpie. <laughs> and I hate him. The commitment is like. <laughs> yeah, do hey, yo, it. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> do the thing. You're Rorschach. Um, okay. Um, Eat some beans. Oh, fuck. How do I do it? Oh, okay. Cold. Okay, do the thing. Better cold. Do the thing. Do, do it. Wait, no. Oh, what is he? What is he you to say do it. <laughs> do, oh, that's right. Do it. What are you waiting for? Do it. I think I almost killed him, but I don't think he saw that. Oh my god. The end. <laughs>